would be? It would be, right? Because more of um, the static friction is in the direction of gravity than over here. However, that's not what it asks, of course. It asks, where is the maximum possible force of static friction? Remember that the static friction is based on the normal force. Um, did we talk about that yesterday? Yeah. Okay. And so the more normal force there is, the more the maximum amount of static friction is available to oppose the motion. And so in that case, A or B, which one of those would have the maximum possible amount of static friction available? A. A? Why? Exactly. Um, right, gravity is straight down, so there's a bigger normal force at A than there is at B. Therefore, at A, there's more static friction available than there is at B. That was a really, I've got to read the question really closely in order to uh, get the correct All right, so we're going to continue to look at Newton's laws. And um, we're going to discuss the friction stuff we did not get to discuss yesterday. Some of you guys turn this back in, I'll turn it back to you. Um, and if you have it, please get it out. I'm oh, sorry, take out the what? I probably need one. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> I don't remember the paper. <laughs> Oh yeah, he gave it to the, in the period, like something about a lab. Something. Should be touching that, but whatever. The normal form. My handwriting is the best ever. Mm. I can't believe I'm so bad at this. Okay, they want me to do it quietly. Thank you. 
but it's still equal because it's moving at constant velocity. Mm -hmm. So there is no acceleration. So the forces are still in collision. Okay. So all your forces are balanced on these for, for that reason. What's happening with the force of static friction? The harder you pull, but before it starts moving. So I actually wasn't short, so I just left it. Can somebody uh, answer that question? As you're pulling harder and harder, um, what is happening to the static friction? Oh, I mean, it's getting harder. I thought you were asking oh. about the second to last drop, just before it starts moving. Okay. All right, good. Where's that big mass up here? Um, so, so would you draw anything differently up here? not moving and I'm pulling on it. The scale's reading one. That means there must be one newton of static friction pulling the other way. I pull even harder. It's up to about five now. Still not moving. So static friction must now also be five. The thing we need to be careful of here is that there's a maximum amount of static friction but just because it's not moving doesn't mean the static friction is this maximum amount. Okay? Your static friction is less than or equal to that amount. It can't go above it, but it can be, a low, be below it, as you can see with this block, right? It can be nothing. It can be one. It can be five. It can be whatever it has to be until it gets to that point. All right, let's look at the next section uh, and try to draw some conclusions um, based on what the data is telling you. Okay?